The true symbol of Plaquemine Parish is its freewheeling brand of politics, epitomized by the late Judge Leander H. Perez, colorful and charismatic, for 50 years the unquestioned leader of Plaquemine, a man whose strong racial views brought him controversy far beyond the South. Is that the American way? Is that showing any real interest in promoting educational opportunities for our white youth? I tell you, my friends, without fear of contradiction, and anyone who contradicts it has no respect for the truth, that all the Kennedys are doing is carrying out the communist conspiracy to destroy public educational opportunities for our white youth. Judge Perez ruled Plaquemine virtually unchallenged, controlling every aspect of public life and making his parish, with its striking landscape and diverse people, a political environment unique in America. The people are really the salt of the earth. They will break their backs for you. They will. If you're sick, if you're down and out, if your boat has sunk, if your house is on fire, or if you, no matter what happens, they will go to the wall for you. And yet, at the same time, I don't mean to sound critical, the people here, Andy, tend to be uh, pliable uh, and acquiescent. Uh, I can't imagine a New Hampshireman putting up with the, the tyranny that exists here for five minutes. Anyone that's used to having a town meeting and once a year deciding on what the business of the town is going to be and what we're going to spend this money on, I can't imagine anyone like that accepting the uh, uh, supinely the, uh, the way in which government has been administered down here over the years because the people have no say. We used to go to every Oh, every political rally that the parish had, because it was always a big family affair with barbecue, chicken, beer, hot dogs, soft drinks, a band playing Dixie, and the judge giving speeches. And as kids, we used to, you know, sit in the trees and watch and, uh, and listen to the political rhetoric, and we never knew what it was all about most of the time. Uh, what would he talk about, the judge? Do you know at these speeches? Oh, he would give some, some typical Tennessee Williams uh, uh, political rhetoric. Looking back on it, uh, everybody had Confederate flags. Uh, the bandstand was sitting there with the Confederate flags. The band would play Dixie. The judge would walk up with his hat and his cigar, and he'd start cursing the bureaucrats in Washington, and everybody would ch clap and cheer. The band would play Dixie, and then he'd curse them some more. And uh, uh, it was great fun. I mean, and then, and then they'd open up the place for the beer and the barbecue, and all of the politicians in the parish would be seated on a grandstand behind them, and every one of them would get up and say, Good evening, it's a great day, glad to be with you, and sit down. Okay, and that's, that's how it was. Uh, Judge Leander Perez is the undisputed boss of Plaquemine Parish, south Correct. of New Orleans. Work hard. Work hard. <laughs> and Plaquemine Parish is the undisputed repository of some of the densest accumulations of oil and sulfur deposits, from which we can infer the obvious. Uh, the Judge Perez, in addition to being a very successful politician, is a very wealthy one. <laughs> Mr. Perez was born in 1891 and took a law degree from Tulane University in 1914. He was appointed judge in 1919, but resigned in 1924 to serve as district attorney of the 25th Judicial District, a job he retained for 35 years. Perez generally, I mean, people don't know Perez generally. Yeah. I've been elected office many times without opposition. I've never made a political promise. I understand in one of those like elections, Zazu, Pitts, and Charlie Chaplin and Babe Ruth voted for you. <laughs> you got uh, some fantastic no, electors I'll, in your no, that is not, <laughs> no, that is not in my parish, sir. That is in St. Bernard. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not, in, not in Blackman Parish. Mm -hmm. My uh, parish is Blackman. This is a tribute to a great statesman, Judge Leander H. Perez. He's the father of Plaquemon Parish, and he'll always have his place. Now there's a judge in Plaquemon Parish, 
a man we all know well. He's a fighting for his people, whether it's land, oil, or shell. He's always in there fighting, fighting with all his might. He's a father of Plaquemine Parish, and folks here think he's right. Well, the first time I ran for office, I had a close race. That was in what year? That was 1948, and uh, he was for me, and uh, uh, I carried those two parishes, and it, undoubtedly he was the key to it, and I carried them big. I carried them by about 90%. I got about 90% of the vote. The opposition got 10%. Uh, I won the race. During uh, the first couple of years I served there, I think I made a mistake looking back on it. I said a thing or two about his kind of democracy down there, that where, which has been described as one man rule to some extent, uh, which got back to his ears. I think he resented it very much, and the next time he was opposed to me. So the next time around, I lost it 10 to 1. But uh, he was a very effective politician from the old-fashioned point of view, where you used to have certain political leaders, or you could call them bosses if you want to, who were dominant in their area, but who had a lot of people around them who found it very much to those people's advantage uh, to support his position. And that included uh, a great number of people right down to the level of being an ordinary fisherman, uh, that he had a job if, because he was a friend of Mr. Press, and he supported Mr. Press's leadership. The old man was an old man, and he was a good old man. And they can accuse him of this, that, and the other, but that old man knew what he was doing. And if he wouldn't have known what he was doing, he wouldn't have done it in a legal way. I say if that man wanted to run for governor, he'd have been governor. He might have even had a crack at being president. Now, that's down in history. That's a fact. Do you think he did good for the parish? Well, of course. How do you think this parish was developed? This parish was nothing but swamp and strips of land before. That's why I say plenty of people talk bad about the man, but they, they don't know what the whole story is, and they don't know some things are good and some things are bad, but hell, he done it for the benefit of this parish and for the residents of this parish. A lot of people say that he also got rich in it. Well, some go, the good comes with the good, and the bad comes with the bad. That's it. Well, any time a man has a honey, he's going to lick his finger, you know that. Well, of course. He'll eat that. Well, of course. And if a man, if a man's in the chicken business and if he's dressing poultry, you know damn well he must eat chicken. So there you go. That's it. 